Okay, so you had asked us uh, why we chose the school, and we can all agree that we didn't choose the school, but the school chose us the way horses choose you. And if you're watching this right now, it's chosen you. Um, <laughs> you're interested, and you can do it, and please continue reading this and, and follow through with it because you will not regret it at all whatsoever. It will make you a better better person and, and improve the lives of many horses. Um, yeah. For me, I, I, I liked the um, straightforward, more traditional approach. Um, the approach that, I mean, you really have to be a horseman to make this work for you. You have to tune in and, you know, anybody, I guess anybody can't give the drugs and all that, but it, it just seems so complicated and convoluted and, and you know, I, I had a bad experience with my horse with, you know, a power float with, you know, heavy, heavy sedation. And after that experience, I just, I, I, I felt like that was just such an unnecessary thing to have had to do and, and that the horses, you know, sometimes really suffer from that. And, and I thought, well, maybe this could be my contribution to figure out a way to, to do it um, more humanely is, you know, the only thing I can really think of, the word that I can think of, but, um, and just spread the word that it, it's not necessary to drug these horses for, for this procedure, you know, for a simple flow. It's, it's, it's overkill. And when you're, we're training, going through that, you realize that you can get the back teeth. Absolutely. Just the right techniques and a little bit of patience and persistence, you're able to get back there. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and if you're wondering why you're even thinking about dentistry or this course, it's you don't have to answer it. Just try it. It chose you. You didn't. You're not going to choose this course. It's going to choose you, and it's going to suck you in. And. <laughs> Sounds you like a monster movie. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to just start it, maybe not understand anything or just some of it, but you get the test passed. You come here, you finish up your questions of, I have no idea what you were talking about on the buckle side, on the this or that. And then if you're still a little wary, I put, I'm just now getting all the names of where we are at in the mouth correctly today and I've been in six head of horses now. Um, that first horse you get into and just to feel the teeth the first day you're like I totally know why I did this now. This is where I am supposed to be. Don't fight it. If you're watching this and you've looked up this course, do it. Just do it. Right. You will not and be... The fact that you're looking at this, like, you know, you had to find this approach. And if you're interested in this approach, I don't know where else you're going to possibly get it. Mm. This is the only uh, course I've heard of or, you know, been able to find that um, really considers the horse first. That's what we try. We're Always. three different personalities, three different learning techniques two instructors amazing job how they curve their ability to show us how to get in there how to catch that spot all three of us and there's only two of them and they have their own personalities and their own techniques but they will put it in whatever way you can to figure out how to do it and you don't find that very often, uh, an instructor on anything that will change their teaching ability to fit you at that moment. And I appreciate you guys I so guess. much. It's brilliant. Absolutely Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you. that. And we're all new friends. Yes, oh it was God. amazing watching all of us, watching you and your Trish and Julie. It was it was an honor to see you both and work with both of you this whole week. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome that you, if you can come with more than just one or two people, because the first thing I noticed Thursday morning, I went last on our first set of horses. I noticed each one of them 
catching the teeth more. And that went, oh man, that means I've really got to step it up and try to catch these teeth. Because <laughs> if they can do it, you know, I've got to, I can't fall behind. And then you get in there and you just, it's, it's there. Right. And yeah, just being too, able to yeah. see their growth as you're watching them be able to float and then feel how good of a job you do. I got pushed around a stall the whole time. Didn't think I caught anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. They went in there, they were like, you did a pretty good job. I'm like, really? And then, you, and then you I went, went back, back in. in and I felt, I'm like, wow, <laughs> the, this horse could have got by if I was by myself. She would have been okay if I just done it and then a few months later come back and try her again. Yeah, that was a really difficult horse. That horse experienced so much pain and tried to help. Uh, had a history, remember, as a rescue horse. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were able to get in there. And yes, it was a, there was a struggle going on. And at some point, we decided that this horse was going to be better with some medication. So we medicated the horse. And lo and behold, we didn't go back in to float anything. We just say, hey, let's see how well you've done. And you were so surprised to find out how well you had done because you used the techniques and you did it properly and you had that integrity to really try to make it work. So yeah, that's what, that, this is why you guys are all stars because you're able to get in there and do what you had to do uh, and, and, and rise to the occasion. We had a blast watching you guys rise and grow and, and uh, we're more thrilled than you are. You have no idea, it's just so great. <laughs> And you guys don't handpick the horses for us. I think I ended up with two or three brand new horses that you guys haven't even done Never before. met before in our lives. And that's another thing. When you get here and you go with them, they don't pick the horses for you. You're just like, I think I'm going to wait on this one and let her do it. And it ends up being the perfect horse to challenge her needs. And, you know, just like that difficult horse, she challenged my every need that to keep my energy low and not let things escalate. She challenged me to the max. Mm -hmm. And today I was very, very grateful for her. I will never forget that horse. And I will also never forget my uh, big boy today. Yeah. And he was amazing. Yeah. But he was... He was huge. Mr. Wilbur. Mr. Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll never forget you guys. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you.